'Twas ten to midnight on December 24th, and all was not well in the far, far north. Some little elves were wrapping a thousand and twenty-four toys, roller skates for a thousand and twenty-four good girls and boys. At ten to midnight, the elves called St. Nick. Tonight, all the boxes had been filled extra quick. St. Nick was thrilled. Right then, fill up the sleigh, a thousand and twenty-four boxes, and we're on our way. Then Mrs. Christmas burst through the doors. Where are your dirty socks, Santa Claus? A young elf cried, Santa, I dropped your dirty socks in one of the thousand and twenty-four boxes. Quick, unwrap every single box. I'm not leaving till you find those socks. Sorry, Santa, said the supervisor elf. Us workers are all union, and we finish at twelve. Said Santa, "No need to be unpleasant. I've got a big pair of scales. Just weigh each present. They'll all weigh the same when you put them in each bucket, except for one, and that one's the culprit." With all due respect," replied the supervisor elf, "it'll take a jolly long time, and you can do it yourself. If we could make one comparison every second, we'd be here till twelve or seven. A little elf piped up. I've got an idea. We just need to use divide and conquer here. Put half the boxes on that scale and half the boxes on this. Whichever side goes up, that pile we dismiss. The supervisor elf, with an unimpressed gaze, pointed out, "We'll still be here for days. You've narrowed it down to five hundred twelve. Hardly any help from this little elf." Wait," said the elf, only beginning his campaign. Watch what happens when we halve it again. So they halved it again, and now their fix was narrowed to two hundred and fifty-six. Then, after their third comparison of weight, their problem was reduced to a hundred twenty-eight. Then sixty-four. Then thirty-two. Sixteen. Eight. Four. Two. It's true. On the tenth comparison, with much joy, this elf had found the erroneous toy. A job that could have gone well beyond the time limits took just a matter of minutes. So the gift was replaced, the elves went home, and Santa was set for his worldwide roam. No poor child, far or near, will have to smell Santa's dirty underwear. But first, the little elf was approached by Saint Nick. Where did you learn your clever trick? The little elf replied, "On magic." I make no reliance. All I need to use is a little computer science.